All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to go over uh, some of the basics for level streaming and streaming in levels all together uh, using blueprints. Uh, so just to show you the end result, what we're going to do, we have the single uh, level for the first person template. But then if we walk over here, this, there's a trigger volume that we can't see right now, but if we touch it, it loads in the second half of the level and it unloads the other half. And then if we walk across again, it loads this one again and unloads that one. So we can just walk back and forth and load them in between. Uh, so we're going to just start this from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to open up a new level. We're going to do the example map. So let's open that up. Hopefully this doesn't crash. And we're back from that crash. So we did open up the first person template example map for uh, this purpose for this level. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an overall map for what we want to have happen here. Uh, so to do this, we're basically just going to copy a couple of these walls here. So copy that, and we're just going to push this wall back. We're also going to expand this light mass importance volume. So it covers the whole area. Let's push this in. Okay. And now let's just copy and make and paste uh, some of these boxes over just to make this interesting. And you can control G to group things together if you want. Uh, just to make the copying easier for you. Just so you can copy the groups. So nothing specific, just doing things as random as possible. Break these guys. Copy some of these guys. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and that's fine for right now. And what we want to do, we want to go ahead and rename this map right now. Uh, we're going to save this as, I'll call it to, like, TUT for tutorial underscore overall map. You can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to build this map just so it bakes everything together in this one map. And this will be our persistent level uh, for this example. Uh, but what we're going to do now is basically create individual levels for the split in half here. So, uh, before we even do that, let's add our trigger volume to our persistent map. So, over here under basic, we can get a box trigger. Make this as big as we want. I think 1500 is enough. No, 1600. And then the Z will make this like 300. Just pull that up. That's good. All right. Let's resave the overall map. Uh, but now that we've got the map kind of split in half, uh, what we're going to need to do is select all the ones on one side. So select the floors, walls, the back wall, and then these boxes. And now with that half selected, what we can do is go over here to where it says Window and select Levels. Right now we have our persistent level, which is the whole map. But what we can do now is on this Levels drop-down, we can do uh, Create New with Selected Actors. And uh, I'm looking at it from left and right. Uh, we'll call this uh, Stream Level underscore Right. And we're going to do yes to all for any of these uh, messages that come up. And let's pull up the levels window here real quick. Let's right click on persisted level and let's make sure it's current. And then we're going to do the same thing with the left side. Uh, the only things we're not, we're not going to copy over are the player start, uh, this reflection cube or sphere, and the fog, and the sun uh, sunlight. 
actor in the sky. So we're just going to copy over or select uh, these objects. Let's grab the first person template here, and then the floor and the walls. So that looks like everything. Let's go back to window and then levels. Select levels and then create new with selected actors and we'll call this stream level underscore left. And then hit yes to all for all those that are being referenced over. And then again, let's right click make current for the persistent level. Uh, Cause now what we need to do is be in the persistent level and then go into its blueprint. So let's go to the blueprints and open up level blueprint. Let's save it first. And what we're going to need to do, obviously first we're going to need to select our trigger. With that selected, let's go back into our blueprint. And we just need to grab an add event collision and add on begin overlap. So that's our event. Uh, but now before we move forward, let's go ahead and create two new variables. Both of them are going to be booleans. Uh, one we're going to call uh, stream underscore level underscore right. The other one we're going to call stream underscore level underscore left. By default, we want to have the stream level right true, uh, just because that's going to be the one that's going to be persistent in the stream. Uh, but for right now, if we hit Control P, we still just have nothing being spawned in at the moment. And that's because we kind of cut it this in half. Uh, so we'll, what we can do to remedy that here real fast is go back to our levels window. Uh, since we're, the left side is where we're spawning, we're going we're to right click on that. And then we're going to change its streaming method to always loaded. And when we do that, now when we hit Control P, we're able to stream back into this level. And then back into our blueprint, actually, the stream level right is the one that's going to be false by default, and the stream level left is going to be the one that's true by default because we want that visible right away. Uh, but now with that set up, the main logic behind this is going to be the load stream level node and the unload stream level node. And before we do any of that as well, uh, we're going to create a new boolean, I'm uh, not boolean, we're going to create a new branch using one of these booleans. So, uh, for right now, we'll do the stream level right. We'll get that and do a branch off that. So basically what's going to happen is every time the player uh, begins an overlap with that trigger, it's going to ask, hey, is the right hand side, is that level streamed right now? Yes, okay, then we're going to have to stream in the other level and unload that level and then opposite for when it's false. So let's say for right now that uh, the right side map is not loaded in like it would be in default. So let's connect that to false. And for level name, we're going to have to put in the name of the level that we have here in our levels menu. So stream level underscore right. And then make true, make visible after load and should block on load. Make sure those are true. And then we're going to set the stream underscore level underscore right variable to true. And then we're going to unload the left side. So that's named stream level underscore left. And then we're going to set that to false. So now if we play once we hit the trigger, uh, this side's going to disappear and unload, and then the right side's going to appear and load. So, and there we go. And we still interact with everything, uh, but if we try to walk over, we're just going to fall. And we fell. So in order to fix that, what we can do is just copy and paste this logic. Connect it up to the true. Uh, but now instead of the right being loaded, we're going to make the left loaded. And then uh, we're going to unload the right. And then we just got to change these Boolean variables to make sure that the right becomes false and the left becomes true. Compile that. And now we should have this working.
So we'll cross over. There we go. Cross back. We kind of fall. Um, that might be because of where our trigger volume is placed. So we can just grab that, move it a little bit to the left, save it again, and then try to play one more time. And there we go. Honestly, this is not too ideal just because you're seeing everything pop in. Uh, so you may need to have it happen during a transitional period where you can't see that being loaded in right away. Uh, but for simplicity purposes, this is how I set this tutorial up. Uh, so I definitely hope you guys learned a lot. I want to say thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely click on me or click on the subscribe button below. And if you do like this video and you want to check out more, i got more videos on the right there for um, more tutorials, more stuff on blueprints, things like that. Uh, so again, if you did like this video, like the video, share the video, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you did learn something, give me a shout out for it. I definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, but for now, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!